Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today I went ahead and did a monochromatic color story on my face and the hue that I used was purple. So there'll be variations of purple throughout this look and I focused on the eyes having a flick of light in the center, which basically means I do the brightest color in the middle and two deep colors on the outside and wrap a mid-tone color around for the liner. Now, the lip that I have on right now, I did do a softer version so that you can see how color, whether that's a lighter color or a darker color, really impacts the overall makeup. Now, I stuck with the deeper color because I kind of like that noir feel and look, but don't worry, I show you two different variations. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get started in this quick tutorial today. I'm gonna start with the Chanel Balm Essential Stick in the color Ore. It's a beautiful light gold, and I'm putting three stripes on each side of my cheek, and then I'm going to blend that in. This is a wonderful way to add hydration to the skin. It leaves a glass-like finish before your foundation. I put a little under my eyes to add some hydration. Next, I'm going to use the Dior Capture Total Serum. I'm going to put a couple drops underneath the eye area and around the sides of the mouth. Using my Kevin Aquan Contour Brush, I'm going to lightly buff that into the skin. This foundation look is based on light, transparent, luminous skin. Using my NARS Soft Matte Concealer with the same Kevin Aquan Contour Brush, I'm going to lightly buff that underneath the eye area to give me a bit more coverage. I also love to use this concealer as an eye shadow primer base. This brightens the lid and preps my lid for any shadows. Next, using my Chantecaille Loose Powder, I'm going to dust that up the cheeks, and then I'm going to work downward so that it doesn't get in any pores, and lightly, very lightly, go under the eyes. As you can see, less is more. It's so light that you can still see the luminosity of the Balm Essential Stick. On to the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette. I'm going to grab the deep purple. I'm using a flat shader brush to apply to that outer corner, slowly building up. Then I will move on to the inner corner and on that brow ridge a bit and on the inner corner of the eye. It's really about placing the shadow by patting to pack the color on first. This will help with any fallout. First step. Next, using my Sonia G brush, I'm going to grab the light lilac color and put that on the center of the lid. Once again, I'm packing the color on. Grabbing now the mid-tone purple color, I'm going to use the same brush, flipping it over, and I'm going to work the ridge going over the whole eyelid. Next, I'm going to grab the shimmery purple color, pack it onto my Sonia G flat definer brush, and put that on the outer corner of the eye lightly blending that out. Grabbing now the lighter shimmer color, I'm going to put that on the inner corner of the eye, same brush, and just packing that on. As you can see, we're getting some nice dimension. Using my NARS lip liner in the color Write It, I'm using this as my eyeliner. It's a deep purple, and it plays well with all these other purple shadows. Using the same lip liner, I'm putting it on the outer edge of the eye, using my Cajole Liner by Victoria Beckham, the smudger side, to softly blend. Now taking that cacao color and putting it in the water line in the upper and lower lash line. Grabbing the light purple shimmer color, we're going to put it on the inner corner of the lower lash line and bring it to the middle. From there, I'll take the darker purple and I'll go from the middle of the eye on the lower lash line to the outer edge. And here we have our eye shaped out. Next, grabbing the Westman Atelier Pota Rose Luminizer, I'm gonna put this on my upper cheek area on the cheekbone to give me my highlight. And I'm gonna add this to the center of the lid to create more of a wet effect. Adding that also to the brow bone and to the inner corner of the eye. That way when we move our head, we get a beautiful sheen. Grabbing now the Kaja Wise Blush and Happy, I'm going to stamp that on my cheek. As you can see, this look is becoming very wet. And here we have the eyes. Luminous and bright in the center. 
with deeper colors on each edge. This creates a nice wide awake look and is a bit of fun as well. Grabbing now my NARS After Glow Lip Gloss in the color Nympho. I'm gonna put this all over the lips to balance out the eyes. Nice and light and glossy. Look two, if you wanna do something a bit more noir or vampy, you could take the lip liner that you used for your eyeliner, which is in the color Write It by NARS, and shape out your lips and put the points quite sharp so that it creates a bit of a puckered look. The goal here is to have big eyes and a smaller little lip look, and a 1920s dance helps. Now grabbing the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the color Bet, which was named after Betty Davis, we're going to apply this all over to give a nice noir look. All right, everyone, we hit the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. It was really based on a monochromatic color scheme, like I had mentioned, and the single hue color that I used was in purple, and the flick of light in the center to really brighten and open the eyes, create a nice dimensional eye look, and then this vampy lip, or you can use the lighter gloss to create more of an eye focal point. This obviously is dramatic because I have not just the eyes and the lips, but the cheeks as well, so it's a full kind of noir slash glam look. If you guys have any questions, suggestions, I'm always here for you. All you need to do is go ahead and comment below. And if you like what you're seeing here on Shri Voyage and you want to support the content, the easiest way to do that for myself, as well as any content creator that you guys are enjoying is to subscribe. Go ahead and use the affiliate links down below. Like button, leave us a comment. All right, everyone. Hopefully I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.